Okay, release. Okay, 1910, 30. Okay, okay. Clear. no problem. Good, no problem. Right up into it. Absolutely excellent. Okay, five seconds to go. The balloon is going okay. perfectly. 25 to Tornadoes present the greatest challenge to severe storms forecasting. Many scientists believe that accurate predictions will eventually be made an hour or more in advance. Tornado, tornado, I think we have a tornado. I don't know, okay. you know you look back But they also realize that understanding the tornado fully will come only at the end of a long, hard battle. There's a strong outflow in that region, but there's a vortex tube along the gust front in our face. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Wait a minute, it doesn't have good rotation. We're not going to deploy. For scientists, getting even the most basic temperature, pressure, and wind data can be highly dangerous. This year, when Toto was deployed in a tornado's damage path, it was the first time that direct measurements of this kind were ever recorded. You know, the cyclone data? That's right. That's I don't right. know whether it's... Then we deploy back, back down. down. We leave everybody here, except uh, the crews. Um, let's deploy back down the road. Let's move it. Let's go. We're moving west. We're going to deploy Toto. Right here, Steve. Somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. Toto's about to be deployed. Time is 1902. A little farther, Steve. A little farther. Peak the hill. Peak the hill. Hopefully, the effort of these scientists will unravel the mystery of the tornado and help prevent the death and destruction that so often follow in its wake. In Barneveld, the one-year mark approaches. A single house remains to be torn down. Most people have rebuilt their homes, new trees have been planted, and businesses are starting to return. It's hard to know how much is going to happen in a normal year and how much is special because this year this community was almost totally destroyed. Uh, one of the things we've seen was an unusual uh, amount of depression, of sleep disturbances, um, of several instances of people being suicidal several instances of people being so stressed that they were hospitalized. However, in, in looking back on the crises of the past year, I believe that now people are pulling together again. The depressions are lightening up. People are sleeping through the night a little better. The wind doesn't scare them quite as much. They're piecing it back together. Uh, but all you can do is just uh, forget about what happened and try to go on, you know. No matter what you do, it isn't going to change anything. So basically, that's all you can do, you know. Try to forget what happened and start over again. So everything I lost could be replaced. And there were families in town that lost members and that they can't be replaced. So I'm very fortunate, in fact, that I, my insurance company was very good. And now I have a new home and new furniture and got all my kids with me. And we're all going to be OK. Optimistically, I'll say I'll rebuild my dealership, and optimistically, I'll say I'll rebuild my home. I guess there are some emotional reasons why I shouldn't rebuild. The pessimism comes from, do I want to be here? I can look to as many people as I want, but the answer has to come from within. I don't know if I have the spirit to rebuild. Jim Kennard finally did summon his spirits, and he began to rebuild his home and business. How have you personally been able to do it, you and, and your wife? answer that. Start over again. Try to try not to forget what happened, but try to put it in the back of your mind and keep stumbling ahead. That's all you can do. Is there something that the rest of the country could learn from what's happened here? Don't give up. Uh, yeah. Thanks very much. Your last name is spelled A... 
A-S-C-H-L-I-M-A-N. I'm sorry, could I hear, just to hear that again, just so we make sure get, get the spelling right? A-S-C-H-L-I-M-A-N. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm sorry to bother Later in the summer, Sue Ashelman gave birth to a baby boy. The wounds here are healing. Some of these people are even going to help others, victims of a violent tornado in Pennsylvania. Most people in this village are just happy to be alive. God said to Elijah, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. God is not in the earthquakes, in the fires, in the winds of this earth, for those forces seek to destroy. What more do we need to know? Amen. We raise our voices in thanksgiving. For the birds to come back, return to share their songs with us. We are thankful to be alive. For our faith, our sense of community and belonging, for our persistent, patient, and passionate God. And we remember Matthew Ashelman, Rick Hammerly, Kirk Holland, Bruce and Jill and Cassie Simon, James Switsky, and the helicopter pilot, Sergeant Stuart J. Searle. Funding for NOVA is provided by Johnson & Johnson, the signature recognized around the world for commitment to quality health care products for the entire family. And Lockheed, America's aerospace company, supporting math, science, and engineering education for national technology leadership. Major funding for NOVA is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the financial support of viewers like you. For a transcript of this program, send $5 to this address or call 1303-831-9000.